I want to make sure I do this right. I want to do a public apology to my brother Kendrick Perkins. We do a lot of sparring. We do a lot of banter on topics. We cap on each other. And you know it went too far when somebody's upset about it. Somebody's disappointed about it. Somebody's hurt about it. And that's never my intention to Kendrick. That's never my intention to any human being walking the face of the earth. I try to come with peace, honor, and respect. And if I'm going to disagree with some things that he said about sports or joke about what he's rocking or whatever, I feel like it goes too far when the other person, you know, um, is disappointed by what you said. So I attribute it to like slap boxing. And I guess it, it, it definitely went too far. So again, public apology to my brother Kendrick Perkins. I know it's going to be a lot of people try to sideline it, try to instigate it, try to keep it going. I travel with love. I travel with peace. Keep killing them, my brother. You're a champion. You're representing yourself um, 110%. And if I disagree with some things that you say about playoffs or about sports and or vice versa we can cap all day you already know what it is it's all love but you know it went too far when somebody's upset about it and I never ever 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 want you or anybody else to feel disrespected about something I said so I'm gonna end this live I just tried to do it before and I made a mistake and posted it wrong but either way all love and blessings I'm gonna do this on TV again when I go and get up and uh, make sure I put it out there for the record, but I just wanted to do it on social media right now because I don't know how a lot of you deal with your pain or anxiety or disappointment or whatever, but I don't feel good when I feel like I let my people down or I hurt somebody's feelings. And so I don't ever want to do that. And so again, all love and respect. Each of you have a good day. I'm going to do it on TV when I go and get up again as well. Everybody have a good day. This has gotten up early here, and I cannot wait to hear, Jalen, you heard what I just said. What is your response? I love you, Big Perk. Put a smile on your face, big fella. It's a beautiful day. You might as well just say Perk's name, Greeny. That's what you just did your soliloquy. You should have just said Perk's name. Kirk was the one talking about he shouldn't be all defense and he should go play against Kevin Durant in the early series. Kirk was the one talking about he's more Robin than Batman. And then when he debated with me, he switched it up and tried to call him Superman. Kirk was the one talking about he's not a closer and Chris Middleton should win finals MVP. Just own it. The last time I was on this show, at the bottom of the screen, it said, is Giannis Batman or Robin? That's attributed to one human being that comes on this show, my brother who I love very much, Kendrick Perkins. Let me just clearly say, Kendrick Perkins is much too big for me to be directly attacking him that way. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm much too smart for that. But Big Perk, you have the floor. Go. Well, Greeny, they have an old song back in the day that goes, I keep hearing footsteps, baby. In the dark. Who's the artist? In the dark. Who's the artist? Who's the artist? So, Who's so, the artist? so when you, so when you have, so when you have those footsteps coming at you, see, sometimes it fit, you feel some type of way. And one thing about me, Greeny, is that when I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And one thing I don't have a problem with is giving the younger generation a card, right? Giving them their props. If Giannis goes and wins this championship and wins Finals MVP. I will bow down to Giannis. I will call Giannis a top 10 power forward of all time, knocking at the door of a top five power forward of all time. Now, let me give you some analysts to what you said, Granny. This is why I say that. When you talk about his short career, not even scratching the surface of his prime, right? You don't reach your prime to the age of 27. His resume is longer than the holiday weekend. The two back-to-back -back MVPs, I get it. But when you talk about the MVP and the Defensive Player of the Year in a single year, it's only two players to ever do it other than Giannis. That's Hakeem Olajuwon and Michael Jordan. So if he goes and wins a championship along with the Finals MVP, I have no problem with giving Giannis credit. 
I'm not that dude. I'm the type of dude that, hey, I was wrong. Giannis has dominated. There it go. At the end of the day, look, we're watching a guy at his finest. We're watching a guy that is performing at a great high level. And right now, I have nothing negative to say about Giannis. Let me be clear. And all kidding aside, I wasn't aiming that just at Big Perk because, Jalen, he, here was the point. And Hembo and I came up with this yesterday. It feels to me like because the game is played the way it is played today and all of the great stars in the sport play with the ball in their hands and generally score from the perimeter, we spend a lot of time, not just Perk, everybody spends a lot of time analyzing the fact that Giannis doesn't do that and no. generally overlooks all the other things that he does do in a way that basically no one else in the NBA is doing now. That really, Jalen, is the point I was trying to make. Absolutely, but that's a disrespect to big men in the history of the NBA. There aren't many guys that you're going to get a basketball to 35 feet away from the floor and say, go make a play for yourself or go make a play for your teammate. The Joker is a guy who's the reigning MVP that's done it. But usually that guy has to rely on his perimeter players, like you see right there, Pat Connaughton, to make shots. Has to rely on Chris Middleton to make plays. And also Drew Holiday, who was knocking down defensively, now all of a sudden found his offense. Giannis is a big man who has the most agility of a guy his size that we have seen, Greeny. And by the way, you remember game one of the NBA Finals? We didn't think Giannis was playing. Mm -hmm. That's how Batman swooped in and saved the day, Big Kurt. He swooped in <laughs> right, and saved but listen, the day. Then he got back-to-back 40-point -back games, and he got Perk apologizing. <laughs> But but that's a that's okay because one thing about me one was arguing what, with me about Batman and Robin no, and then start calling no, Giannis Superman. Oh hold, ahead, hold on, ahead, hold on. But let me let me let me tell you the difference between me and Jalen Rose. See, Giannis is shining like new money right now. But see, last year around this time when LeBron James was shining like new money. It was guys like Jalen that still wouldn't come on here and give him his props. See, I'm not that old type of hater. See, I embrace the new hater. generation. If the ju new general, if the new generation proves me wrong, if, if the, if, the, if the new, the new is, listen, 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 he's under you from what you grew up to. You're scratching the surface of being a senior citizen, J. Rose. So at the end of the day, your generation is different. You're not in the same generation as I am. And so when it comes down to certain things, Granny, I don't have a problem with giving Can't... credit. I want to address one more thing. When I talked about Giannis last series, for as him being the defensive player of the year, we have to talk about it in the moment. Kevin Durant was giving that team everything and more. And what I'm saying is, with me, for as playing with a former defensive player of the year in Kevin Garnett, being to the NBA Finals five times, winning the championship, I watched a guy say, go to the huddle and say, I got him. Whether it was LeBron James, whether it was Kobe Bryant, all I was asking was, what was the defensive player of the year when Kevin Durant was giving his team that work? At some point in the time, you have to go and say, coach, I'm going to guard him. I was challenging Giannis, not hating on Giannis. Jalen, very quick. This let is me a ask perfect you example. Yeah. Yes, sir. That, just like, because I want to get one question in that I didn't get to ask you, and I'm running out of time here. I got 30 seconds. Jalen Rose, here's the most important question of all. Who's going to win game six of the NBA Finals tonight in Milwaukee? Do the Bucks win the championship, or do the Suns extend it to seven? Giannis is going to be dominant in the paint, Greeny. He hasn't been attempting three-point shots. He hasn't been attempting one-leg Dirk shots. He's literally been dominant in the paint. Drew Holiday's been scoring. Chris Middleton's been scoring. And being in the arena, it's been electric. Big Perk will tell you. The big fella took a picture with Kareem and the big O. They might be there. I feel like the Bucks find a way to advance. Advance? It would actually be advancing well, I, to the celebrations uh, yeah. of the championship. They win it tonight. Uh, uh, Perk, you agree? No, I, I, not this time. But for the simple fact, the hardest game is the closeout game. And this, this Suns team is real, real competitive. And I feel like Chris Paul, he's due to shine in the biggest moment. I feel like the See? Suns is going to shock See? the world today and actually win this game. Is this Didn't you say at the bottom of the screen that Giannis is the most disrespected superstar in the history of the game? Look, yeah. he's going home. That has nothing to do with 30. Just because. And, 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 per, hold on, my turn, Perk. Jay you, Rose, you just even, because you pick, just because you, 
Just because you pick a J. Rose before game five, you picked CP3 and the Suns to win, and you was talking about how CP3 was going to be hotter than wing stop thighs and Louisiana style and all that. You said it in game five. What's the difference now? I can have a okay. different opinion about who I, I think going to win the game. I was out of time Greeny. four minutes ago. He you was guys talking are the about best. the new generation, and he brought yeah. up LeBron James, right. the oldest superstar in the current uh. NBA. You guys are the best. Uh, this argument will doubtless continue all through the day. I'll see, I'll, 